little things. Uh, uh, I think it's very important that we ap approach the game right way, that we start to a good, and then the little things during the game. The game, you know, one extra rebound, one extra steal, one extra charge. Uh, those little things are deciding uh, big matches like this. You know, I, uh, de definitely he's the engine of that team and he's going to do his things. Uh, I think more important in games like this, uh, not to have somebody else to be a hero of the game. And uh, usually in the games like this, somebody that nobody expects uh, scores like 15, 20 points that team is not focused on and, and that's the guy who, who change and, uh, and uh, win the game. So. Uh, our focus is going to be also, you know, to stop everybody else, not to not to have surprises by 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 uh, uh, by excellent team that they have, because everybody's forgetting that they have a long bench and they have many players that can score 15, 20 points and decide the game. I mean, it, it's not easy for for all of the teams because uh, we have different situation in our domestic leagues. Uh, somebody have a stronger league, somebody have a weaker league, somebody have uh, more more uh, time to, to relax. Uh, sometimes that's bad, sometimes that's good. So, you know what, I don't think there's a time to, to think about all these little things. I think uh, we're in the final four, it's uh, uh, one game deciding everything for, for, for the whole season, for, for every, each team and uh, you need to go there and give, give your maximum. We already prove ourselves, we, that's why we hear that we, we can beat anybody in Europe. We just need to be very focused, uh, don't, don't listen to anybody else around, around R12 and of course the coach, coaching staff, uh, play very hard and uh, I'm sure the result's going to come after that. Thank you. Thank you. It's a semi-final of a Euroleague final for that. You can say everything only by that. Uh, I think the, it's a great team. Panathinaikos is a great team, very experienced team. We know that we, we have to play 40 minutes for every position, offense and defense. They are a very experienced team. Uh, they know how to read mismatches. They, they know how to control the rhythm of the game. They have a great point guard. Uh, so we need to be we need to be very mentally strong for sure there're going to come moments during the game that are going to be difficult moments uh, so we need to keep our temper uh, playing smart but also play with a lot of heart sometimes you know this is tough to to match it i think i mean to do both so whoever is uh, very uh, strong mentally i mean being smart and also play with a lot of heart i think he will be he will have a bigger chance to win the game Yeah, okay, for sure it's normal. Uh, okay, apart that now, okay, everybody knows everybody. Obviously, you know, basketball is also national teams, playing know, players know each other. Uh, but for sure I know Panathinaikos guys very well. Uh, except the Greeks also, I play with Drew Nicholas and Romain Sato together in Treviso and in Siena last year with Romain. So, uh, uh, I have experience with these guys and for sure I can say something to help them, maybe also in difficult moments during the game. Okay, obviously uh, Dimitris is, is his year in my opinion. He's making a great season and for sure he's the number one target in our team how to stop him and we have re a, a very big chance to beat Panathinaikos if we limit him. It's not easy to to stop Dimitris in terms of he's always he, he can do so many things in the court so he will always be useful for his team. But I think if we limit him we have a bigger chance to win Panathinaikos. Um, I would say you know, it starts with great coaching. Um, you know, that's that's first and foremost. But they play together as a team. They they do everything that that's needed to be done to to win. They 
uh, move the ball. They, they're not afraid to pass screens. Their big men are uh, have great size. Uh, they take advantage of any mismatches that that, that they have. Um, so, uh, you know, we, like you said, we played against them many times, and uh, they've probably got the best of us. You know, and so hopefully, hopefully this time we can, you know, try to change something around of what makes them them and. You know, hopefully next year people are saying what makes Sienna, Sienna. Uh, both, both good size, um, both pretty good shooters. You know, Fultz is probably have, has a little better shot, but um, they're both big. They rebound. They, they do little things to help the team win. Um, you know, we, we want to try to keep them from getting open threes and open jump shots uh, because you know, if you let them shoot, they're going to hit the majority of their shots. So, um, both great players, and it's, it'll be up to myself and the other power fours to try to slow them down. Uh, you know, won't be easy, but we're here to have some fun, and, and, and hopefully, we'll get it done. Uh, our first, first and foremost for us is defense. We have to be focused on. Uh, you know what we've worked on since we, we qualified for the Final Four, and uh, if, if we do those things and are, you know, uh, doing the same stuff we've been doing all season on defense, rotating, moving quickly, and helping each other out, uh, we'll be okay. So uh, we don't worry as much about the offensive stuff because we believe that defense is what helps us win. So if we get out there and get after it on defense, we'll, we'll give ourselves a good chance to win. Thank you.